This is a annual energy production and consumption graph of the building. We can see the electricity produced by a building is moreover equal to the electricity consumed by it. This building is certified by LEED and Braha with platinum and 5 star rating. So how this building become India first net zero building? This building is an office for Ministry of Environment and Forest which is situated in New Delhi, India. To make this building net zero, they have emphasis in these three strategies. Passive strategies, active strategies, renewable energy. Orientation Building is north-south oriented, divided into four separated blocks which is connected through corridors and a huge central courtyard. Daylighting this orientation helps to get maximum lighting on all side of building, 75% of building, floor space is daylit, thus reducing dependence on artificial lighting. The central courtyard is work as light L. Office receive daylight from front facade and light well. Also the light shelf helps to reflect more light into the deeper center part of the room. Natural Ventilation courtyard in the center of building helps in air movement as natural ventilation happen due to the stack effect. Corridor are openable window and permeable facade which allow air to enter into the building which add cross ventilation. Facade. The external wall and window ratio is only 20% which help to reduce heat gain. Window are made of UPVC with double glazing makes for highly energy efficient windows. Large overhang is provided on perimeter of the facade to shade from heat. Window is recessed deeper into the wall, reducing sunlight from entering the interior. The wall is constructed by AAC block masonry wall and fly ash based plaster with U value as low as 0.34. Chill beam. Chill beam is a heat exchanger, where it supply cool air and suck hot air, causing convention to happen which cools the room. Chill beam were installed in all condition office space to reduce air condition load. Chill water is supplied to room at 16 degree and return with 20 degree, which cool the room by 4 degree without the need of air conditioning. This reduce energy use by 50% compared to a conventional system. Lighting, Lux level sensor. The sensor helps to control and minimize the usage of lighting automatically according to different situation. Light is used of LED luminous efficiency which save normal light. Remaining lighting load supplied by building integrated photovoltaic. Geothermal. This building has also utilized geothermal for heating and cooling. The system has vertical closed loop system. During summer, hot air is passed through the pipe and provide cold air to the building. In winter, cold air is passed through the pipe and provide hot air to the building. Rainwater Harvesting System Rainwater is harvested through roof and porous surface and stored in a tank. It is treated and later used for vac absorption chiller, for watering landscape and in toilet for flushing. Grey Water Treatment Grey water is water coming from sink, basin which can store otherwise would go to wastes. It is collected from toilet, went through on-site treatment and redistributed back to use for toilet, for flushing, watering landscape and cool vac absorbed and chiller. Through this system, it reduce 50% water consumption. Last part is renewable energy. The building integrated photovoltaic power plant has been installed to meet the energy demand of the building with clean and green renewable energy system. It has total 28,400 solar panel of capacity 930 kilowatt. This solar plant is generating 14.3 lakh unit of electricity annually. It is grid connected. The excess energy generated can be stored in battery and sell back to municipal grid. So the combination of both natural and active system are able to reduce energy consumption effectively and usage of renewable energy, it generates sufficient energy needed for building. Hope you like the video.